welcome to my channel and welcome to Mommy Monday. So, I am Jasmine. If you guys are new to my channel, I do notice that my mommy videos get different viewers than my regular videos. So, if you guys are new, welcome. Please, you know, be here to stay. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I do drop mommy videos every week um, so yeah i always am dropping mommy videos so even if you're here just for my mommy tips please don't forget to subscribe ladies and gents maybe <laughs> don't forget to subscribe because i'm always dropping mommy videos i'm always giving mommy tips sometimes even in regular videos i'm still you know when you're a mom you're literally a mom 24 7 so i never go out of mommy mode pretty much so Unless I'm in a car by myself, I do a lot of mommy mo. But yeah, please like subscribe, guys, because I'm always doing mommy videos. Even if it's not a mommy Monday video, I'm still doing mommy videos. So yeah, I just noticed that like you know I do get a lot of views on my mommy videos. So join the fam, join the fam. Be here to stay. So. Today I'm just going to be doing some frequently asked questions. I kind of did this a little bit during my pregnancy. Um, just like general mommy questions, really. Um, so my first question I get a lot is how do I sleep? Like, you know, how do I stay rested and stuff like that? Um, pretty much when it comes to sleep, like, I, I don't really do the whole sleep when baby sleeps all the time. Um, for the most part, I just kind of fall asleep at night when she falls asleep at night. Sometimes I can't fall asleep when she falls asleep, so I'm like up until 2 in the morning just in la la land. But I try really hard to fall asleep when she falls asleep at night. And then for the most part, she really sleeps in really good. So, I find myself getting a full night of sleep um, and, you know, waking up really at a time that I would wake up if I didn't have her and didn't work. So, that works out awesome. And when it comes to naps during the day, I may take one nap with her during the day, but I don't do the whole, like, sleep when baby sleeps all day, every day, every time she takes a nap, I take a nap. When she was really, really young, like, so, really, really newborn stage, I did do that a lot where I would sleep with her and, like, fall asleep with her, like, on the couch and stuff. But for the most part now, like, during her afternoon naps and stuff, I, um, I'm pretty much just up. Like, I might take one nap with her a day. Um, and then, like, a lot of the times, it's, times where I'm trying to get something done. Like right now, I'm trying to film, so it's kind of perfect that she sleeps. She's in a kangaroo pouch, so we're good. Um, Another question I get asked a lot is, how much of the baby must-haves did I use? So I had a few baby like must-haves that like I would watch videos and I um, would put things on my registry based on that. So, uh, some, I'm going to just actually throw out, like, my baby must-haves and kind of just leave out the ones that I didn't use, pretty much. Uh, so, my first one that I don't really use, but I know there's going to come a time where I am going to be using it a lot more, is my monitor with a camera. So, I know that when she you know, starts like really, really sleeping on her own more, you know, without me being there or near her, I'm going to really be using that. So that is a baby must have that I haven't used, but it was a gift. And I know I'm going to use it more. Like I've used it a few times, but I know I'm going to like really be utilizing it soon. That's one. Uh, my favorite is her tub and it's a four moms. It's the four moms tub. I'll leave some things in the link the description I'll leave links down in the description box below for you guys uh but like I love the four moms tub like it goes in the sink perfectly um it has like the little blue thing that's like slip resistant and it's kind of just like a little jacuzzi like homegirl be in there chilling okay when it's time to get out of bath like she's like 
bruh, bruh, why? So definitely the Four Moms um, tub. Another one, which was another gift, was the Four Moms swing. I don't know if it's the Mama Rule. I don't even know the names of those things, but definitely that. Um, she doesn't really like it for a long period of time because she's like strapped in, of course. But it definitely gets the job done for um, when she's like watching TV and stuff for like, you know, 30 minutes at least. It will get the job done. So definitely a swing of some sort. It doesn't have to be the four mom swing because I know those are a little pricey. But a swing of some sort in some type of entertainment does keep their attention for a little bit. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. I would suggest you guys getting some baby cereal. Um, we started her own cereal around three months, three and a half months, I think. She was starting on cereal. Um, she doesn't eat a lot, but it does get her full. So it does like get her full to the point where she is gonna go to sleep. Um, so I would definitely recommend some cereal of some type. I usually just mix mine with breast milk and just you know, give it to her that way. The container lasts us forever because like I just said, she does not eat that much. So it, it definitely lasts. What else? What else? Um, when it comes to clothing, I think that, you know, when you first are having your child, everyone's telling you like, don't buy this, don't buy that. She's going to grow out of it. It's going to get old, blah, blah, blah. I think you have to kind of play it by ear. Uh, Kennedy is about to be eight months and she's still perfectly fine in her six month clothes. She's still perfectly fine in some three month clothes. So I think that you kind of just have to play by ear. Like things do last a really long time with certain babies. Certain babies don't even wear their newborn clothes, you know, but like with Kennedy, she was in her newborn up until like in her three months. So I think you just play by ear. So I would definitely say like get as many clothes as you think you want or need, you can always just play dress up every day, if nothing else. And along with clothes, like you would be surprised how much babies go through onesies. I know for me personally, like she goes through a lot of onesies. Like sometimes it's blow up, sometimes it's throw up. You just never know. So definitely like onesies. And along with that, I would also say blankets, blankets, blankets. Like those little swaddle blankets. Not really the ones with the arms, just blankets that you see. Um, I'll list some in the description box below. I always see them like a Target and stuff. But definitely those blankets because you guys would also be surprised how many freaking blankets you go through. And I've noticed that the blankets are like hair bows. Like we started off with so many blankets and now I'm like, where is a freaking blanket and they're so multi-purposeful um I usually use her to use them to like wrap her before and after her bath oh my gosh wrap her before and after her bath um I really don't like her like laying on bare things so like I always like lay it on the couch or lay it on the bed you know wherever she's like laying down or playing because she does like spit up a lot and I just like for that to be down. Um, I use it to cover her up in her car seat. Just everything, really. They're really multi-purposeful, so definitely blankets. And then along with the car seat cover-up, I would recommend a car seat canopy, which is, you know, just something that goes over the car seat. It comes in handy so much with, um, you know, if your baby sleep. I noticed that if she, if the car seat canopy's on, she tends to stay asleep a little bit longer. Um, of course, weather, it, you know, helps with, even though most car seats have that shield umbrella, it does help with, like, you know, the weather getting uh, in her face, on her head, just little stuff like that. It has a little opening, but I usually just pull the umbrella that's on the car seat and then put it on, and then nothing's opening over her head. So that's really good for weather-wise. But like I just said, like even in the summer, if she's asleep, like it's great because it keeps her asleep because she really can't see and it makes it a little dark in there. So definitely a car seat can be. Um, toys, toys.
toys toys like you'd be surprised that like babies her age are really into like little gadgets little toys i'll leave some down in the description box below but little things that make noise also um she has like these little these little shapes that are kind of like blocks but they're little shapes that really go inside of this mickey's head but i just throw them out on the floor for her to play with and what i love about the shapes is that she can put them in her mouth and stuff and she cannot choke on them because they're too big so that is really something that i didn't even really think about um but you know at her age you know, she's really obsessed with putting things in her mouth. I mean, everything. So, having toys that she can put in her mouth and can't choke on are great. Um, what else? Last but not least, I'm just going to touch on this a little bit. I would recommend always having some infant Tylenol and maybe a little cold medicine on hand. Um, I'll leave the kind that we use down in the description box below. But, you know, with babies, they just get sick randomly, like, for a day or two. Just randomly, really. So, I think it's just really good to have on hand, you know, your different medicines and stuff like that. I really don't like giving her medicine. So, I mean, literally, I really only do it, like, when, when I know she's getting a shot. I will give her some Tylenol because she does not take her shots well. So, definitely a shot. Um, and then with her cold medicine, she, homegirl really has to be going through it to get some medicine for me. Because I'm just not the type to, like, give babies medicine. Because knowing it's going to put them to sleep, I feel like a lot of people kind of just give their kids medicine. Because um, it's going to put them to sleep. I mean, none of my business. Um, so, yeah, definitely that. And then, I know I just said lastly, but seriously, lastly, always keeping a really big thing of diapers or wipes on hand is awesome because, so we really had diapers for a really, really long time because we had a diaper party, but once we ran out, we tend to buy big boxes of diapers so that, you know, we're not buying diapers every week or every two weeks. I feel like her diapers at least last us all the time a good month, maybe sometimes a month and a week. So it's kind of good that diapers aren't like a bi-weekly thing and more like a monthly add-on to like bills kind of. It's like monthly, you kind of know, oh yeah, gotta get some new diapers. So definitely that same as wipes. Get the big thing of wipes. They're super cheap. Um, and yeah, I will also be leaving down in the description box the Cartwheel app. I think I left it in another video as well, but I'll be leaving the Cartwheel app. It works wonders, like, on detergent. I always see stuff for diapers. And also, I don't know if you guys know, but there's this Instagram page, and I think it's called Free Stuff Finder. I'll leave their Instagram link down below as well. But they always have like when things are on sale from diapers to mommy stuff to daddy stuff to everything you can think of. They're like pretty much professional coupons. So I'm sorry if the lighting is totally different, but I just had a couple more things. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I actually stopped recording everything and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot two very important things. So I'm going to hurry up because my camera's about to die. I need to get these out. First thing is definitely some type of pouch to hold your baby in. I don't know how I forgot that. So they have these and then they have another one that's more like a wrap. I'll leave both of those down in the description box below. And the second important thing that you guys need is coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. If you're not a coffee drinker, you better find some type of energy from the heavens above somewhere as God to bring it down because you're going to need some energy. I think that's why I'm able to keep going. So, Starbucks gift cards, always good. I went ahead and got like a coffee maker, and I just go ahead and, like, make big batches so I can have iced coffee because I like iced coffee. Um, but, yeah, I just had to come back and tell you guys that. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah, definitely coffee, though. So, that's my thing, guys. Like I said, if you have any other things that you want to ask, if you need, clearly I was forgetting things left and right. I mean, you can never 
have too much, pretty much. That's the advice I want to give you guys. You can never have too much. Don't listen to what people tell you. You can't. You can never have too much. Anyways, yeah. Back to the bye-byes and the see you guys later. Bye, guys.